most delicious buns ever. And let me show you how it's done because they are perfect. We start out proofing our yeast as always. So 275 milliliter of lukewarm water. And then we go in with a teaspoon of honey. Just a little bit to feed the yeast. And then we have 16 grams of dry yeast that goes in. And we're going to give this a good mix so we can make sure it's well and alive. So let that proof and get foamy and bubbly and then we'll continue. When your yeast looks like a cafe latte. <laughs> Look at it, how foamy yeah, it is. Yeah, and that was only five, six minutes. This was quite amazing. And actually yeah. it, it got a little bit warmer. There's a reaction here. Well, that goes straight into our spiral mixer. If you don't have one of these, I can recommend it. It's really <laughs> good for bread. Yeah. Then we're going in with 275 milliliter of milk, same as the water. Like that. 125 milliliter of extra virgin olive oil. It's going to be really good buns, that's for sure. Two whole eggs. And we are going to go in with... No, I'm not going to do that yet, actually. I want the flour first. Mm -hmm. We have here 1,100 grams of uh, Caputo Manitoba. You could use type 00 or anything. Just, I wouldn't go all purpose. That's not strong enough for, uh, to get that texture on these buns. So use some type 00 or better. So 1,100 grams. This is a little bit bigger portion than we've done before because I want extra buns. And then 25 grams of sea salt. Close the safety, and now we're going to put this to initially, I would say, 15 minutes, and we let it do its work. And here we are, and it's looking good. That machine does a bang up job of making super good and super strong dough. So let's get this out of here. Such, it's insanely strong. <laughs> that gluten network here is insane. There you have it, beautiful. <laughs> let's just shape that in to a nice, taut, round ball. I mean, the surface here, it's super smooth, not sticky at all. I mean, it's fantastic. It's amazing how much you save from the process when you used to do it yeah. before by hand. It's crazy. We've done these buns before with a flip and fold method ah. um, and bread also with the same kind of, uh, of dough. Actually, I'll put a link down below so you can see how long that takes compared to this. Yeah, it's a huge difference. Huge. A little bit of oil in a bowl. Not a lot, just, you know. So, so it, it doesn't, doesn't dry the surface, but... Yeah, exactly. I just want just to flip it around once here. Now we're going to cover this and leave it at room temperature for about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, double in size, and then we will shape some buns. An hour in, and let's see how we're doing here with our dough. Well, that definitely became big. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that's beautiful, and that's ready to shape. So let's flip that out of here. Oops. Oh, there we are. It's beautiful. Uh, look how dense and how strong it looks. Oh, but look, look here. It's like uh, it's well, super, We have super never strong. achieved that before by hand. No, no, no. no. no, no. That's like it's evident. The, you cannot beat a spiral mixer in terms of uh, gluten buildup. <laughs> but that's beautiful. We have here 1900 grams approximately of dough and that will easily yield you, let's say, 20 regular sized burger buns, even 22. But I want them somewhat bigger, so I'm going to shape this. It doesn't matter with the air because we are going to deflate it anyway. So let me make it a little bit rectangular here. And then we split it down the middle. So how many we will get? Mm, I'm thinking, shall we go for... Yeah, six on each of these. Uh, that's probably too big. That would be like small breads. You ah. want burgers. So I'm thinking Ten spread it eight. out seven, eight pieces oh. maybe on each seven. Okay. So we get 14. Yeah, because that will grow again. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. That will give us seven, seven. seven buns. Oh, yeah. It won't be exactly the same size. If you are really anal about this, then you can weigh them out with your kitchen scales, but... Sorry, but I can't be asked. It's um, it's a home production, and <laughs> yeah, and, and actually, I don't mind that they are a little bit differently shaped, you know, depending yeah. uh, what you want. So, upside down, and then we flip them over like this, so we make a nice seam here in the bottom. 
And then on the board, use the surface tension to create a nice, taut, round ball. Look how cute they Perfectly look. Perfectly beautiful. <laughs> and we place them over here. I probably won't fit all of them here, but it's a good thing I have two ovens, so... Um, we have plenty of ovens. <laughs> and we're getting more. No way. Yes, we are. <laughs> no. So, again, surface tension here. And then when we get all of them here on the board, then I'm going to flatten them out a little bit. And then we're going to cover them with some kitchen towel and let them rise. So I'll continue here until I finish all of them. And the last one, 14 beautiful buns. This is going to be a good day in burger heaven. <laughs> well, they are beauties. They would be even better. And you can see how strong each one look. I mean, no, but it's, I mean, look it's, at it's, it. Uh, it's super strong. Press them down as much as I can because they are bouncing back. Quick. Yeah, you can't deflate them now. It's impossible. <laughs> ah, but I want them a little bit flat yes, here for the uh, so it gets a bun shape. I don't want it totally buffed up, but it will be like that. Kitchen towels. We are just going to cover this up, and then we're going to leave them here to rest for maybe 30 minutes while we preheat our oven to 180 degrees, and then we'll be back to bake. Now they had time to proof, so let's take a look here. Ooh, Ooh they're looking good. Yes, nice and puffed up, but still they do maintain that. Completely, they're so glossy and yeah, so nice. That's very beautiful. Mm. And our second oven pan here, and the <laughs> little brother that came there a little bit too small, but that's okay. We are going to give this an egg wash. This is a whole egg with a little bit of water. So we are going to give them a nice coating of that so we get a super golden brown surface there when they come out of the oven. We want beautiful burgers here. And when the last one there is coated, then we have to talk about how we're going to decorate them here because you said something about that you wanted some of them with salt. Yeah, I like it when they have salt flakes on top. So I'm going to do some of them with uh, black sesame seeds. Very nice. They also uh, look nice with that. Yeah. yeah, it does. It does. I, I love these actually. It gives such a nice uh, touch to them. They look beautiful. So let's make half half. Half half. Say, yeah. Yeah, half, half. So we're both happy. <laughs> well, I also like the, th that little salt on top is also so delicious. I mean, so seven of these. Does that look pretty? Yeah, I think so. Very beautiful. And then a little bit of sea salt on top here. Yeah, that's the best. It is. Super delicious. It is, it is. We also do it on our breads, actually. Uh, it's when fantastic, you, then the crust on top. It gives super, for when you're chewing into that and you get that little bit of extra saltiness there. Mm. That's just beautiful. And as I said before, the ovens there preheated at 180 degrees. And we're going to put them in now for, in the middle rack for 25 minutes approximately. We'll see when they're ready. So see you then. 25 minutes on the dot and they're done. Let me get them out so you can see. Ooh. Uh, they turned out beautiful. Ooh, that cracked a little bit. Okay, we have Impressive. 14 of them. Yeah. Yeah. But they are looking okay. really good. Now we have to get these, but look at them. I mean, they are so pretty, perfect. <laughs> now let's get them on a cooling rack here to cool down a little bit before we break one open so you can see how beautiful they are on the inside. Well, these will definitely make for some big burgers because that, they became really big. But as I said, you could make 20, even 22 out of this uh, batch. But I take one with the salt because that's, I mean, sesame looks good, but it doesn't taste of much. But just to show you the texture, I'm gonna cut this a little bit awkwardly here, but so you can see, but see here, Ooh. That's perfect crumb. <laughs> and look how it bounces back. It's a perfect burger bun. Perfect. We're going to make some kick ass mess burgers. But let me give the bread a taste here. Uh. Nothing like freshly baked bread. And that little hint of salt on top there, it's so yummy. Give this a shot.